Pretty good, man. Pretty right. good. Nice to meet you. You too. What's up, man? I'm all right from, from Hawaii, man. Yep. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what's up, yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah, nice. So, what about what? All here. Is it that's right here? Okay, okay. There's a little pamphlet over there inside if you want to read it. Uh -huh. Uh, because as a missionary, we go around and share the, the gospel of Jesus Christ was restored to be shared through a prophet. Mm -hmm. And you know, that's what we do for two years as a missionary. Okay. Go around and share this gospel. Share the gospel? Okay. Yeah. Like you saw, man. Uh, so, what, what was his gospel, man? Uh, you want to no, I'm sure the gospel of Jesus Christ, basically just, you know, the things that he went around and preached. He went around and preached uh, goodwill to your fellow men. Mm -hmm. uh, he preached baptism and repentance and receiving the gift of the Holy Ghost and uh, following his commandments. Okay. And, uh, you know, just all the all the things that we read about in the Bible that, that he uh, preached to the people. That's what we call his gospel. All right, so you say following his commandments, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Y'all keep his commandments? We try to, yeah. Okay. Y'all keep the Sabbath day? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, what's the Sabbath day? The Sabbath day. Yeah. That's the day that's set aside for worship and remembrance <coughs> of the Savior. And uh, on that day, we don't do, you know, we don't participate in recreational activities. You know, we don't usually go out and do stuff and, you know, go to the movies or whatever. We, we go to church. Right. Yeah. What, what day is that? It's a Sunday. 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 Yeah. Really? According to what? According to after Jesus Christ was crucified or resurrected. Uh -huh. um, the day of his resurrection was on a Sunday. Uh, uh -huh. Previous to that, it had been on the Saturday because Saturday was the seventh day of the week. Mm -hmm. um, and so it was told that, <coughs> you know, the seventh day, thou shalt rest from all thy labors. And um, that was generally the Sabbath was Friday evening to Saturday evening. Mm -hmm. uh, when Jesus Christ was resurrected, he was resurrected on a Sunday. And so he told the apostles that uh, they should start Sabbath day worship on the on Sunday. That's in the scriptures? Mm -hmm. Can you show it to me? It's not specifically in the scriptures, I don't think. I've never read it. Um, okay, yeah, I don't think it's in there. It makes something. Sure. In the scripture, it tells you that Christ, when they came to check the tomb, he was gone before the Sabbath, didn't he? Mm -hmm. And then he also, he also uh, when, you, when you read in Matthew, uh, when, he got, when, he's re when he was re resurrected, he was gone before the Sabbath. Sabbath day was uh, complete. Okay. And uh. <coughs> Mom said, "Do you guys want anything to drink?" I want some drink. Oh no, I'm alright. Okay. No. Um, no, no, we're good. Okay. Okay. All right, shut the. Um. Shut the door all the way. So, so. When was uh? When did he die? When did he die? Yeah. I'm not aware of any specific date. I'm not not as far as the date, but I'm saying like when did he die? Like was it Friday? That's what I mean. I don't know any any date. I'm saying because like the the world celebrates Good Friday, right? Well, I don't really know because we well, we know that Jesus was well, he was here for six days and he rest for one day, and then day he want us to go and worship him. Right. And I know that, but as you know, as a member of the church, we worship Jesus Christ on Sunday. Uh -huh. was, yeah, we said that we keep the safe day holy, and that's why we go on Sunday and worship God. And I don't really have anything to hear in the Bible today, but... No, I'm just trying to figure out, because how this, the, the seventh day is Saturday. Mm -hmm. right. The seventh day of the week, according to the Gregorian calendar that we use today, but right. who's to say that Saturday was the seventh, was the actual day that God rested on? Because like when Christ came in the flesh, mm -hmm. he, he kept the Gregorian calendar. Yeah. But yeah, which was which was sad. In the end, though, does it really matter what day it is? Well, let's let's go see the worst. All right, let's go see let's go see if it matters. Because I'm quite sure if 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 he gave us some, I'm quite sure it matters, right? Yeah. So let's go to Exodus 20. Let's let's go check it out. Let's go see. All right. What is the book? Exodus. Exodus 20. You gonna crack your Bible? Oh, this is the. Uh, the oh, that's the Mormon Bible. Bible. Yeah. Okay. It's not the Mormon Bible. It's an addition to the Bible. We oh. use the Bible as well as the Book of Mormon. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Let's see here. I'm gonna read Exodus 20, man. Let, let's see something. Exodus, start with <coughs> one, bro. 
and God spake all these words, mm -hmm. saying, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt not have no other gods before me. Okay. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image, mm -hmm. or any likeness of anything that is in the heaven above. Okay, drop to verse 7. Verse 7. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. Mm -hmm. For the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Remember the Sabbath. Okay, so we say remember the Sabbath, right? Remember the Sabbath day uh -huh. to keep it holy. Mm -hmm. Six days shalt thou labor Go ahead. and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. In it thou shalt not do any work, thou nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant. Are we alone, bro? We want you to see. Nor, nor thy cattle, uh -huh. nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. Mm -hmm. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth. Mm -hmm. the sea and all that in them is mm -hmm. and rested the seventh the seventh day right so he rested on the seventh day right he rested on the seventh okay. day now what we need to find is we need to find how long we're supposed to keep this right because mm -hmm. he, he gonna tell us so let's go to exodus 31 and 12 and let's see how long we're supposed to keep this hey, keep the Sabbath day? yeah right. exodus 31 and uh verse 12. Okay. and then we need to see who gave this let's see was it moses let's see was it christ Cause see, a lot of us don't know that that Christ was in the Old Testament. You know that, right? Mm -hmm. You know that? Yeah, of course. You know that was Christ in the Old Testament. That wasn't God. That wasn't God the Father. You know that, right? Yeah. Okay. Exodus thirty-one and twelve. What does it say, brother? Exodus thirty-one and twelve. Mm -hmm. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak thou also unto the children of Israel, uh -huh. saying, Verily, my Sabbaths ye shall keep. Now, you see it's an S on that. So it's more than one Sabbath. So when you get into Feast of Unleavened Bread, when you get into uh, Passover, these are, these, are, these are other Sabbaths. That's why it has an S on that. Not just the weekly Sabbath. Can you read, bro? For it, is, for it is a sign between me and you throughout your generation. How long? Throughout your generation. Until I come and down the cross and I'm going to do away with it. Throughout your generation. Can you read? That ye may know that I am the Lord that that does sanctify you. Go ahead. Ye shall keep the Sabbath, therefore, mm -hmm. for it is holy unto you. Everyone that defileth it shall surely be put to death. Mm -hmm. For whosoever doeth any work therein, that soul shall be cut off from among his people. Now drop to eighteen. Let's see who gave these commandments. Go to eighteen. And he gave unto Moses, <clears throat> when he had made an end of communing with him upon Mount Sinai, two tables of testimony, tables of stone, Who wrote it? written with the finger of God. So uh, from what I understand, in Malachi 3 and 6, say, I'm the Lord, I change not. So from what we just saw, God is the one who wrote the commandment and gave it to Moses. And he told us to keep it. How long? Throughout our generation. Yeah. Right. So how do we end up changing it to Sunday? He never changed it. What, what do you guys do? You guys worship God on Saturday? We worship Friday, Sunday, and Saturday, Sunday. Like he said. Because according to Genesis 1 and 6, and then 1 and 7, the second, the first day, evening and the morning, made the day. You understand? You guys worship on Friday and Saturday and Sunday? Friday? No, no, no. Only Friday? No, Friday, Sunday. Not, not. What you gotta understand is you can worship the Lord every day. Yeah. But it's only one day that He set aside for rest. You understand? No sex, no buying, no selling, no cooking, nothing but a holy convocation. That's a gathering where you come together and you worship the Lord. Okay. Now another question I got for you. All right. Um, according to the Bible, man, who are the real Jews according to the Scriptures? Who are the real Jews? Yeah. Jews are a race. Okay, who, who, who is it? The people that reside in the Middle East. The people that reside in the Middle East. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, 
So if, if they're the, the Jews according to the Bible, I should be able to read in the scriptures and the curses should fit them, right? I'm not sure what you mean. The Lord identified the, the so-called Jews mm -hmm. in Israel, okay? If those are the people that are the Jews according to the scriptures, then I should be able to read in the scriptures and the curses should fit those people over in Israel. What do you mean the curses? The curses that are in the scriptures. Okay. A matter that, of fact, that, that the Most High put, put yeah, that, that the Lord put on the children of Israel. All right. Okay. So we should be able to go see. Now, mm. let's go see who these people are. All right. Let's let's fine. let's go to Deuteronomy. Let's go to Deuteronomy 28, and let's go see if the people in Israel fit these curses. All right. According to the Bible. Alright, so, so the what? Deuteronomy 20. Now, do my favor, brother. Um, start at verse 1 right quick. And let, let's see, let's see who how the Lord gave this to Moses. And let's see how when you read 1 through 15, he tells him the, the children of Israel about the blessings that was gonna come on them if they obeyed what he said. And then when you get to 16, you see the curses starting to come out if they disobeyed. Okay? So let's go and read. Go and read what you got. Deuteronomy 28. <clears throat> and it shall come to pass uh -huh. if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments mm -hmm. which I command thee this day that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations on the, of the earth. Go ahead. And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Right, so we, we clearly see that these are blessings. We, we start into the blessings of what would happen to the children of Israel if they kept the law, statutes, and commands. Okay? Mm -hmm. Keep reading, bro. Blessed Blessed. Let me see. Verse 3. Okay. Verse 3. Blessed shall thou be in the city and blessed shall thou be in the field. Mm -hmm. Blessed shall be the fruit of thy body, and the fruit of thy ground, and the fruit of thy cattle, mm -hmm. the increase of thine kind, and the flocks of thy sheep. Blessed shall be the basket and thy store. Right. Blessed shall thou be when thou comest in, Mm -hmm. And blessed shall thou be when thou goest out. Okay, now we 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 clearly establishing here that these are some of the blessings. You can read it for yourself on your own time, yeah, mm -hmm. all the way down to fifteen, and see that you know when you're dealing with the word, brother. Let's deal with the word. The Bible tells you contend for the faith. You understand what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yes. When you no. when you contend, that means you fight for what you believe. So let's sit here and let's deal with this word of God, man, because. At the end of the day, when Judgment Day get here, brothers, mm -hmm. if y'all ain't doing what the Lord said according to the scripture, man, y'all gonna have to pay, man. And you gonna remember the day that y'all sat in here with Brother Nate. You understand? Ooh. All right. So Ooh. let's contend for this faith, man. Let's read and let's see what the scriptures say because these curses gonna identify a people. And we need to find out who these people are according to the scriptures. All right. So we done read some of the blessing. Mm -hmm. Now let's drop to verse 16 and let's see these curses. Go ahead and read, brother. Curses. Well, you know, we'll come back up to 15. Let's see what it, what it says. 28, uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 15. Mm -hmm. But it shall come to pass mm -hmm. if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Right, so he let them know. I, I laid out all the blessings for you. If you don't do what I say, if you are not hearken unto the Lord thy God, keep reading. To observe, to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, uh -huh. which I command thee Go this ahead. day. Uh -huh. That all these curses shall come upon thee uh -huh. and overtake thee. Go ahead. Cursed shall thou be in the city. Cursed shall they be in the city. Now these people, these people gonna be cursed in the city, so they shouldn't have no business owning no banks. They should be cursed in the city. Keep okay. reading. And cursed shall thou be in the field. Go ahead. Cursed shall thou shall that shall be thy basket uh -huh. and thy store. Right, so they're gonna be always broke. Keep reading. Curse shall be the fruit of thy body, uh -huh. and the fruit of the land, mm -hmm. and the increase of the not of the kind. Go ahead. 
and the flocks of the of thy sheep. Uh-huh. Cursed shall thou be when thou comest in 